A phone call from someone saying they're law enforcement demanding money now. The Travis County Sheriff's Office wants you to be on alert for a new round of telephone crime. They're receiving about three reports every day, and KXAN's Phil Prazen is here live with more. Well, Robert, these phone scams are different because they're using real, local, and personal information to try and get you to fall for it. After 35 years as a CPA, Lee Anderson was used to IRS scams. But this latest call to her office was different. The caller said he was Craig Smith, a homicide detective with the sheriff's office, and there was a warrant out for her arrest unless she paid. It was so personally directed at me. It wasn't like, send us money for such and such. It was, you didn't show up. Here's, I've got your business address. This is where we had it delivered and signed for. You didn't show up. She took out $1,900 and was about to do a money transfer until she and her husband went down to the courthouse to ask questions in person. Turns out Craig Smith really is the head of homicide investigations, but the real Smith didn't call her. The Andersons redialed their number and the caller hung up. I was ready to go do it and then just go down there and confront them with the piece of paper, but we would have already lost our money at that point. Lee called the authorities. We want you to know that we take these kinds of crimes very, very seriously. When someone impersonates a public official, there's a, an element to it that um, is felonious in nature. The sheriff's office wants anyone who's received a similar call to report it. With more information on who called the Andersons, they hope to catch the scammer. And the sheriff's office told us today they never ask for gift cards or money packs. That's the quickest way to detect if it's a scam, Robert. Good advice, Phil. Thanks. Well, earlier this year, we told you about a similar scam in Williamson County. The scammer actually called Sheriff Robert Chody. He says that scammer hung up very quickly. The sheriff reminds you that law enforcement will never call or email you about an outstanding warrant. And don't be fooled by caller ID. Scammers can mask their phone numbers.